Hi guys, this is Des from the Music Marketing Academy. We show you how to market yourselves if you're a musician, you're a band or your brand. Um, in this video, we're gonna show you how to get more followers in 2021. And what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm going to do um, some analysis on some Twitter accounts and, and then I'm gonna take some frequently asked questions as well, or I'm gonna take questions from you guys as well. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them below in the comment section. And if as long as, we, as long as it's to do with Twitter, I'm more than happy to answer your questions, guys. So thank you so much. Um, you're probably wondering who I am, so let's just get this out of the way first and then we can go into looking at these, um, these Twitter accounts. So my name's Des, um, I run the Music Marketing Academy. Um, it's just me on my own no one else um, running this. And what we do is we teach musicians how to market themselves. Um, I'm not gonna take long on this, it's just a, a little intro for you guys. I started back in May, 2020, so this year uh, in the height of the pandemic. And um, I've grown the account to 15,400. So where this, this whole, um, this whole uh, live stream has come about is um, a few weeks ago, let me just find that uh, that tweet. A few weeks ago, November the 30th, um, I said, when I reach 15,000 followers, uh, I'll be celebrating this milestone by giving away a free analysis on 10 Twitter accounts. And here I am. Um, so if you, and I said, if you're interested, please leave a comment below if you want to participate. And some of these guys, a lot of these guys participated, so they wanted to participate, which is great. And then what day are we today? Thursday, on Tuesday, I believe it was, um, I did like a spin the wheel thing where I actually chose from those comments, the people that would be interested in doing the analysis. And it came up with these 10, these, uh, 10 people here. So guys, that is what I'm going to do today, all right? So before I do that, I'm just gonna say to you as well, if you're interested, we've got a YouTube channel. If you wanna subscribe, there's plenty of content on there. So if that's something of interest, I'd really like you to subscribe. If it's something you're interested in and you wanna learn more about marketing you and your music, then hit the bell notification on that. And each time I upload something, you guys will be the first to know. Also, we have a Facebook group as well. I'm not gonna go too much into that, but if you're interested in joining the group, there's about 442 people there at the moment. Would love, love, love to see you guys on there, all right? So anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna get into the analysis. Let's go, click back on this. and I'm gonna go to full screen on here. Take myself away and I'm gonna take away this branding as well. And I've got a hi from Peter and Ella. You guys are on the live stream, every single live stream. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. I hope you got some questions if you've got some questions as well later. And I'm just gonna take away this branding as well so we can get things nice and clear because I wanna do this properly, all right? What I will say as well, guys, before I get into it, um, I've written some notes here of all the accounts that I'm going to do uh, analysis on. Um, if you're interested in those notes, send me a DM um, during, the, during the live stream or after the live stream, and I'll send you my notes on this as well, all right? But um, for now, I'm just gonna get on with the presentation. So just give me one minute. Um, let's get my notes ready. Right, so the first person that, that um, uh, entered the competition, I say competition, um, was um, JT Vion. I think, hopefully I'm, I'm pronouncing that right, JT Vion. So what I would say from this is, and this is one of the, one of the ways to get more followers is you need to be more personable. Um, let me just put myself on the screen as well, guys. Just bear me one minute. So I'm on the screen as well. Right, okay. Brilliant, right, so the very first thing I would say is, now, this is gonna be a common theme, so I'm gonna warn you on this, all right? Um, the profile image is, if you think about it logically, um, I'm on the desktop right now, but the vast majority of your followers and potential followers are probably gonna be on their mobile. Mate, they're not gonna see your image here, and they're definitely not gonna see you, this little small little pixel in the background. So what I would recommend, you, it's, there's nothing wrong with the image, but just come a little bit closer to the lens, because at the moment, uh, nobody can see you, and if I wanted to follow you, I, I've got no, I'm not feeling anything towards who you are, what you're about, it doesn't speak to me. Uh, I'll be really, really honest with you. So I would improve the profile picture, if you don't mind. Uh, the header image, um, again, that's not really speaking to me either. That's kind of like a, a, a bit of landscape and I have no idea what that's got to do with you and your music. Now, again, you can take my advice. You don't have to take my advice, but I'm telling you now, most of your potential followers coming here are gonna wonder what the hell's going on. They're not really seeing anything regarding who you are, what you're about in this header, all right? Um, I'm gonna speak, this, this is what I'm gonna say regarding this link here. 
these Linktree links are fantastic, okay? And I'm, even I use something very similar on my Instagram account. What I will say, uh, JTV on, is these work, these work really brilliantly on Instagram, all okay? right? On Instagram, you can't, let me just go to my Instagram account and I'll show you very quickly. So this is my Instagram account, um, JTV on. Now in these posts, you can't link out, you can't externally link anywhere, okay? So if you um, if you write a caption, let's see if I can find one. If you write a caption and you put a link in here, JTV on, you can't, you can't click on it, it's not clickable. And the reason why is Instagram don't want you to leave their platform, all right? So what you wanna do is, what you try to do is you try to drive people to, the pro, uh, to your bio. That's where these links come in really well. So you've got a, a link tree link, I've got a tap link here. And when you click on it, people have got a nice, uh, quite a few options of who and what they can choose. So say for example, they're interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel, they can do that for example, okay? Now it works really well on Instagram because you can't link out externally on Instagram, all right? So that's why you always drive, in marketing terms, we say drive traffic, but in essence, what you're doing is you're driving eyeballs to this bio, all right? So that's why you have these link trees or these tap link links, because in these um, in these posts, you're sending loads of people there for lots of different things, and then they've got the choice of what they what, what they actually want to choose on those links. Now, if we go back to your Twitter account, you've got a link tree one here, and th the reason why I'm not a fan of using them in Twitter is because you can actually externally link in your in your tweets. So I would be a little bit more specific, not a little bit more, actually a lot more specific on where you're going to send traffic. Now, look, I don't know if you have a website. I don't know if you're on Spotify. I don't know if you're on Apple Music, whatever. I don't know where you are and I don't know what you've got, but I would be very specific on the link that you send there to people. Now, again, you don't need to take my advice. This is just this is just from my observations and the accounts I've worked with previously, okay? Uh, I come from an e-commerce background, so I've, I've worked on many different accounts. Um, this music account, I can tell you now, it's a lot better if you're a lot more specific on Twitter. This works on Instagram, not so well on Twitter. So we went in a, a bit too far, a bit too long on that, so sorry about that. Right, I would actually say from my notes, what we were saying on your description, um, I would say, this is great, so you've got rapper, singer, songwriter, I'd probably get a little bit more specific in what sort of rapper or sing songwriter you are. That That's me personally, okay? Again, that's up to you if you want to add any, any more in there, but I would probably, you've got a lot of space in your bio, so you might as well use that space to describe exactly who you are and what you're about, all right? Right, okay, this is gonna be a common theme going through, your pinned tweet. Uh, JTV on, if you're a musician, I recommend putting an MP4 file, okay, a MP4 video file in here. And what happens is it auto plays in somebody's feed. So when they're scrolling, it auto plays, okay, that's the first thing. And secondly, it auto plays with the sound off. So if they're in, a, you know, a, in an office and they, they don't want the sound on, it automatically just mutes that out, all right? So don't worry about that. But what it does, and the main reason why I always recommend that musicians have a, a, an mp4 pin tweet is as soon as i land on here if i'm going to follow you i need to know who you are pretty damn quick otherwise i'm going to bounce seriously i'm going to bounce if i don't know if i can't if i look at your profile image and i can't get anything from that I look at your head i don't get anything from that I, trust me if i haven't if i don't feel anything at this point in your twitter account i'm definitely not going to scroll down any further to look at anything else now i know that sounds really harsh and i'm sorry about that but it's the truth people these days and the younger generation coming up are even worse than we are mate they're absolutely terrible their their um, attention span is like that so you need to capture them as quickly as possible now i'll give you an example of somebody that's doing really well um You've got City Lights, for example, the, uh, a good example of actually put a pin tweet here. And you've also got Josh, a good friend of mine. And you've also got Star One, who I'm interviewing on Saturday, by the way. Um, so yeah, th these are good examples of guys that actually got a, a an MP4 pin tweet. 
what happens is guys as soon as i land on that count i know exactly what i'm getting i know exactly what they're about and also i can listen to their music if i like their music i'm likely to follow them if i if i really dig what they're doing i'm going to follow them and that's why i recommend doing an mp4 pin tweet i'm probably going to spend a little bit longer in your account because i'm going to say the same thing on the other accounts or not all of them but some of the accounts that i'm going to i'm going to talk about what I would also say as well, JT Vion, is your pin tweet. You posted this on September the 10th. I recommend um, changing your pin tweet at least once a month. M at least once a month, get my words out. Uh, and that's just to keep your account fresh. Also, I, re I noticed as well on your tweets, you're not retweeting your tweets. If you retweet your tweets, they're not going to go out to as many people, but they will go out to more people, JTV on. So I I, I would really recommend um, that you retweet these at what we call the busiest times. And they're normally, depending on who you're trying to target, I don't know where you are, it looks like Ohio, I think it is. Um, in Ohio, if, if, this, if there's people in your, your time zone that you're trying to target, the best times to retweet are first thing in the morning before people go to work, at lunchtime when people are scrolling through their phone, all right? And then in the evening as well. So um, I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to see if there are any questions before I move on. Okay, so uh, Icon Dark. What's yes up, y'all? Good to see you, mate. Um, Polar, can you review my Twitter too? Polar, I'm going to do another one when I reach 16,000. All right, 16,000 followers at the moment. Where's my account at the moment? At the moment, we're on 15,400. So we've got 600 more followers to go. I'll do another review. I'll post another tweet like this. And just make sure you comment, mate. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to be in another few weeks when we reach 16,000. So leave a comment. I'll do the whole spin wheel thing and we'll try again, all right? And who else we've got? Um, you've taught me as much using all your advice since the beginning of October. That's great guys. Thank you so much. And I appreciate your support as well. Thanks for, thanks for being on the, on this uh, live stream. So, okay. So JTV on, um, let's go back to my notes. Was there anything else? What I'd also like to see JTV on is more face to camera. Okay. I know a lot of musicians and I, it blows my mind when I see this, but a lot of musicians are afraid to pick up their phone and literally just go face to camera. Okay. The reason why I recommend doing this, and, and if you notice, if you followed my account, I do it, I try to do it every day, is just do a bit of face to camera. A lot of people don't know what I sound like. Even a lot of people think I'm American just by looking at my image on there. So when I do a face to camera, you get to know the real me. And I don't see enough of that on Twitter accounts, and especially on yours. There's not a lot of, well, I don't think there is any face to camera. So JTV1, I hope that's helped. Um, I hope I haven't been too brutal, but I'm just being honest and I'm telling you things from an objective point of view on how um, somebody who's coming on across your account for the first time, what they're going to see and what they're going to think. They're not going to, mate, they're not going to scroll to try and find your music. I'm sorry, but they're not. Um, you might have a few, but the vast majority of people and even the new ones coming up, even less so. All right. So hopefully, hopefully um, that's OK and you've uh, got some value out of this. So the next account that won um, was Hypnotic Mirage. Uh, we, d we do speak a lot, and I think he said he was working at the moment, so he couldn't be on this live call, which I appreciate. But, mate, I love the profile image. I love the header, all right? Um, the profile image, obviously, you put a little mask on there, which is quite funny. Um, but I get to know who you are, and I get to know kind of I'm assuming this won't take my embrace is probably your latest track, which is absolutely fantastic. This is one thing I would also say, guys, if you've got a new track coming out or you've just released a new track, I always recommend swapping out your header, if you can, for something else. And I use a software called Canva, canva.com. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link or send me a DM and I'll send you the link to Canva. They do a free plan and you can design headers like this really easy. It takes literally about five or 10 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. But if you've got a new track coming out, I recommend swapping this out for your latest track. And it looks like that's what Hypnot Hypnotic Mirage has actually done. So I really think you're doing a great job. Right. What else have I written for you? I think you could be a bit more descriptive in your bio. Look, guys, you've got a massive bio here. I can't remember how many characters it is, but you've got a lot of places where you can actually write who you are and try and get your personality across. Um, similar to uh, JVT on, um, 
I see the actual pinned tweet, which is fantastic. You've pinned a tweet and obviously you've retweeted mine as well. So I do appreciate that. Um, but what I would say is we need an MP4 video in here, mate. Okay. Uh, your latest video needs to be showcased. All right. So at the moment you're, you're pointing to um, Spotify, which is fine, but I would recommend doing a, an MP4 pinned tweet. Um, maybe with some comments or some text on here, maybe telling them to go to Spotify or click the link in the bio, because you've actually got a, a Spotify link in your bio as well. What I'd also say is, guys, is um, I don't know if you saw my video, I think I did it on Sunday, uh, about trying to produce your own landing page and collect names and emails. I really do recommend you should watch that. Um, if I just go back to my uh, YouTube account, um, yeah, it's this one here. This video here teaches you how to get your own, uh, try to build your own email list, basically. And you use a one page website to do that. The one page website can be set up within 15, 20 minutes. It's that quick. You get a little URL, you can put it into your bio. Anybody that clicks on there can whack in their name and email address and they're on your, your mailing list. So next time that you're actually launching something, Hypnotic Mirage, you can literally just email them to say, mate, guys, I've got a new track coming out check it out, all right? So these guys that actually sign up on your email address are, are much more, um, what's the word, how should I put it? They're much more um, dialed into what you're doing. They're much more into what you're doing. So they would much rather um, purchase or stream something from you than just one of your followers, okay? So let's go back. I don't wanna to spend too much time on that. What else did I write for you? Uh, pin tweet is an MP4, yes. To be honest with you, I haven't got a lot of criticism. Your engagement, is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's really good. So I'd keep doing what you do, all right? You're doing a lot of text tweets and you're doing a lot of retweeting. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, you, you, we follow very, very similar people, so that always helps. So it's always a good idea, if you're trying to increase your following, is to try and build um, a Twitter list. And again, if you don't know how to do that, send me a DM and I'll send you a link with, I've, I think I've got a video that shows you how to build a Twitter list. It's very, very important that you build a list of people that you, you engage with regularly and then just keep building on that. And that actually helps your following because the more, so for example, I speak to Fused, I interviewed him a few weeks ago. The more you speak to Fused and you remember him, he's in, in that Twitter list, the more I'm gonna see your tweets and the people that follow Fused and follow you will see your tweets as well. So I hope that kind of helps. Again, if anybody's interested, uh, DM me after if you don't know how to build up a, a Twitter list. Um, but you've got lots of retweets. Uh, a lot of times there's, where are we? Yeah, one thing I want to say is, uh, and I'm going to be really, really serious. I'm just going to take a bit of a drink. This is going to be a sore topic. A sore topic. A lot of musicians, what they do is they get into this, what, what I consider to be a bro and sis fest. And what I mean by that is you do a lot of retweeting and curating of other musicians, which is totally fine. Look, I'm not saying not to do it. All I've got, all I would say is you've got to have a nice mix of doing that. So there needs to be a mix of you promoting yourself, okay, uh, promoting other people and writing content for your followers. There needs to be a nice little mix of that. And what I see a lot of musicians do, and, and I know why you do it because you want people to share your stuff as well and you feel kind of obligated to retweet because they've retweeted your stuff. I get it, I understand. But what I would say is, mate, the, the vast majority of what you do needs to be focused on your followers. That's the first thing, because you want to get more followers and you want to keep the followers that you've actually got. And then secondly, you want to promote yourself, um, your, your, your brand, your music, and you want to actually have more conversations text-wise here, here as well. Your engagement is fantastic, but I think there's a lot of bro sis fest going on and a lot of accounts. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of heat saying that and I know a lot of people are not gonna like me saying that, but it is totally true. I'm not suggesting that, I'm not saying not to do it. Please listen to me here. I'm not saying not to do it. I'm just saying you need to probably dial it down a little bit so you can actually get your point across, your, your brand across. Otherwise, there's no point on being on Twitter. You're not going to get, and you're not going to feel the benefits of it. So I hope that's helped. Um, let's have a look. I think that's it, mate. Other than that, I think your account's brilliant. You do a lot of engagement. You do a lot of retweets. And we, again, we follow the same sort of people on here. So we always have a you know, a little bit of a conversation as well. So hopefully you, you that's that's gone well and I hope you like that. So next one we're gonna look at is Dusty. Dusty is um 
somebody that always likes and retweets a lot of my content. So I really appreciate it, Dusty. First of all, the profile image is perfect. The header image is perfect. I absolutely love it. When I come here, I know exactly what I'm getting. I kind of get an, um, uh, uh, an example of who you are, get a feeling of who you are and what you're about. Um, your bio, let's look at your description on here, is on point. I've got no criticisms about that. Again, you've got a Linktree link, and you know what I mean? What You know what I feel about Linktree links? They're fine on Instagram. I'm not a fan of them on Twitter, but you have got a link going to your website, which, which is perfect, all right? Ideally, when somebody clicks on here, they want to be shown what they're doing, um, what you're doing, sorry, and there wants to be somewhere where they can actually sign up. And this is excellent. This is a brilliant example. They can put in their name, their email address, and they can get free instant downloads. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So Dusty, mate, you, you, you're you killing it. You're killing it at the moment. So what am I, what else am I saying? Engagement is awesome. Need to use, all right, okay, yeah. So what I would recommend, you do a lot of linking out to your own Spotify and other other things as well. There is a little trick what you can do, Dusty. And if I just quickly go back to my account, what, actually, let me just go back to your account, just explain what I'm doing. What happens is on mobile, which is what most people are actually going to see your content on, they're not gonna see these thumbnails. All they're gonna see is this text and that link. That is all they're going to see, mate. They're not gonna see anything else. So what you can do and what I regularly do, and you can copy me and you guys can copy me as well if you want to, is the little trick is if you're going to link out to YouTube or Spotify, what you want to do is you want to you want to insert your own image of your thumbnail on there, all right? So what happens is when these guys are scrolling on their phone, they actually see that image, yeah? They actually see this image here, all right? This is an interview I did with... Um, uh, Darren from uh, Music Cast. So, guys, just a little plug for him. If you're looking to uh, upload your music and then in a few weeks' time stream it, check out Music Cast. Absolutely fantastic. I interviewed Darren the other day, a cracking bloke. If, for example, um, you want to get in early, I'd suggest you get in early because it's going to get really, really busy. And at some point in the future, he's going to start charging. At the moment, he's not charging anything for this. So, if you're interested in that, definitely get on it. Anyway. I, dig I digress. So yeah, so what you need to do, like I've done with this particular one, is I've actually added an image here. So when somebody's scrolling on their phone, it's just, uh, it's a lot more um, appealing when somebody's scrolling through, all right? It's a lot better than just putting, where are we? It's a lot better than just doing a link here, because like I said, on mobile, Dusty, they're not going to see it. They're not going to see these images, all right? So the only time they're going to see these images is if they're like me now on desktop. If they're on uh, mobile, they're just going to see a link here. And there aren't many people when they're scrolling that are going to be, you know, encouraged to actually click that link. But when you've got an image there uh, like I have here, it says a lot more. Uh, obviously, images can paint a thousand words. You know, the, you know the saying. So I would recommend if you're going to externally link anywhere, YouTube, Spotify, anywhere, add an extra image in there as well, all right? Brilliant. So I think, Dusty, that's it. Your engagement is, again, off the charts, like Hypnotic Mirage. You do a lot of text tweets, which is brilliant. I love that. So do more of that. What happens, guys, and I'll just quickly explain if you don't know. When you tweet text tweets, right, it, it goes through a filter, all right? So when you when you tweet something, what, tw what the Twitter algorithm is doing is it's looking for... Is this going to be uh, racist? Is this going to be um, uh, hurtful to anybody? Um, is this going to be sexist? It's looking for all of those things, and it's a lot easier for them to pass that filter with a text like this, a text tweet like this, rather than you putting an image in there, a GIF in there, a video in there, a link in there. These text tweets go through a lot faster, and I recommend that you do that, do or do uh, a tweet the majority of times with a text tweet. And if you look at my account, I do exactly the same thing. And the reason why I do it is because it, got, it doesn't go through so much of a, a, as a filter. It goes through a lot quicker and it enables more and more of your fans, more of your followers to see your tweets, all right? Um, I don't like to go into accounts and they're seeing a lot of external links because Twitter hates it and I'm not a massive fan of it either, all right? But mate, other than that, you're doing a fantastic job. And like I said, the profile is brilliant and the header is brilliant as well, I love it. 
So going on to the next person, how many we've done so far? Jeez, we haven't really done that many. This is the fourth one. Right, so again, I love the uh, profile image. I'm assuming that you're a producer. Yes, you are. Um, I like the header as well. What did I write notes on you for? Um, I am icon dark. Um, bio is perfect. Happy with the band can Bandcamp link there. That's brilliant. I love that. This description is brilliant. It explains exactly who you are. I know exactly what I'm getting. You've got a pinned tweet there. My only, my only small little tiny criticism is it's September the 26th. What you want to do, mate, and you haven't retweeted it either. So again, whenever you pin one of these MP4s or anything, when you pin anything to your, your Twitter account, always retweet it at the at the busiest times because it gets you more traffic. It, if you get more traffic, you get more followers. It's as simple as that. So guys, at this moment, I'm just gonna uh, pause and just say, if you're interested again, check out my uh, YouTube channel. If you're interested in my YouTube channel, got the Facebook um, group just there. If you're interested in that, sign up. All the links are in my bio. Anyway. Getting back to it. So um, what else did I write for you, mate? I uh, love the MP4. Don't forget to retweet the busiest times. Um, I think, was that it? I think that's it. I think your engagement is perfect as well. Your engagement's really good. A lot of text tweets there. Um, again, the only thing I would say, mate, is do some more retweeting, all right? If you go to my Twitter account, you see all these, you, all these retweets? These were retweeted at the busiest times, all right? So that, that allows me to get more exposure. If I get more exposure, I get more followers, all right? It's as simple as that. So I'm just gonna quickly see if there are any questions that I can answer before I go to the next person. Right, um, let's have a look. Um, Polar Lenny says, all right, dope, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, Matt Bruder, how do you get a decent video in there? I tried to post one, but it was too large. Um, Matt, it's basically just an MP4 video. Um, I don't really know, you say a decent video, I'm not too sure whether you, uh, if you could add some context to that, I'm not, I'm not too sure what you mean by decent video, um, but it's just an MP4 file, and obviously it doesn't want to be a movie file, <laughs> it doesn't want to be like, you know, a, a gig or something, but it just needs to be an MP4 of a clip of you singing, basically. Um, I believe when you upload an MP4, I think you're allowed, just trying to, I'm not trying to get this wrong, I think it's about 90 seconds, I might be wrong on that, but I think it will, it will let you know, when you upload the MP4 file to Twitter, it will let you know, um, um, you can edit it and you can show you, it shows you on the bar how um, uh, how much time that you can actually put on there as an MP4 file. But I, I believe it's something like 90 seconds. I'll need to double check that. But yeah, if anybody knows that, leave a, leave a comment so I can let other people know. But yeah, if that's what you mean by decent video, it's going to be a short clip of your music clip. And even better, if you can have a music clip and then you telling people who you are at the very end of it, that'd be even better. That'd be perfect. So, mate, hopefully that's kind of answered your questions. Icon Dark, uh, never occurred to me to retweet my pinned post. Never. Brilliant. So hopefully, mate, you've learned something from this. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to move on anyway, because obviously I don't want this going to be taking all night. So I'm going to try and move on as swiftly as I possibly can. Let's quickly go back to my notes. So, yeah, um, Icon Dark, you're doing a, a brilliant job. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Your engagement is brilliant. You're doing a lot of re um, retweeting other people, other artists. Lots of text tweets. All I would say is at the busiest times, um, I just recommend retweeting those. To find out when the busiest times are, you can look back at your old tweets. If I scroll all the way down on your feed, mate, um, let's try and find a tweet that's got a lot of engagement. So yeah, on the December the 1st icon dark, if I click into your tweet, it tells me on December the 1st at 1.50, when you tweeted this, you got 11 likes, all right? Now, there's a lot, a lot more that goes into it rather than just the time, but it kind of gives you an indication when to actually tweet, all right? Um, I recommend using TweetDeck as well if you're um, looking to schedule your tweets. Um, again, if you're interested, I've got a video all about that, so I'm not going to go into that now. But other than that, mate, you're doing a fantastic job. I've got nothing more to say on that. You're doing, you're doing brilliantly. Right, so let's move on quickly. So Tracy Lynn, uh, you tweeted me earlier saying that, uh, I don't think you said you were embarrassed, but that, I can't remember what you said. But anyway, there's nothing wrong with your account. Your account is absolutely fine, uh, Tracy. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to go general, so don't worry. 
Right. Okay. So profile pick could be clearer. Right. So yeah, again, kind of like what I was saying to JTV on, right? On mobile, these guys are not going to be able to see this. All right. They're not going to be able to see this. So it's going to be very difficult. For, I can see it clearly now on my desktop, but it's going to be very, very hard to see that on mobile. So I'll make a much clearer picture. Maybe you come in a little bit closer to the actual lens if you're going to take the picture or just make sure you clip it and then and then put it into your profile picture. I absolutely love this header. Love that. That really gives me um, an impression of who you are. I don't know if this, this um, font is part of your branding. You can probably let me know in the comments, Tracy, or send me a DM. If it's part of your branding, fantastic. If it's not part of your branding and you don't normally have this font, I would probably go with a much straightforward font here if you're trying to write something in your header. The reason why is, and I'm not saying, see what happens is when you put a font like this, but you know what it says and you kind of just assume that everyone else knows because you've written it. But the, the, the problem is if I haven't written this and this goes for most people, they're not gonna be able to quickly see what that says. And I know that sounds really strange, but honestly, it's so true. You'd be surprised if you tell people to say, what does that What does that say? A lot of people are going to struggle with that. So I would probably personally change this. If it's not part of your branding, Tracy, uh, change the font to something simpler so we can read it. If it is part of your brand, honestly, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. It's not, it's not a biggie to be honest with you. The header kills it anyway. It's really, really good. And I like that. And it was, it's something that will draw us in. Um, I'll probably be a little bit more descriptive on the actual bio. You've got the space, so you might as well use it. Um, you, you're not linking out anywhere here, Tracy. So I'm assuming that you don't have a website. I'm not too sure if you're on Spotify or Apple Music, but if you are and you've got music or you're on SoundCloud or whatever, I'll, I'll honestly put a link here as well, um, just so that people, if they're interested in what you can do, they can click on the link and then obviously go to wherever your music is. Obviously, if it's on Spotify, you're going to get the streams. If it's on Bandcamp, you're going to get downloads, etc., etc. But other than that, the, the bio is, is, is cool. Just like I said, change the font and a bit more description in the actual, um, uh, in the bio. You're going to get a lot more followers if you do that. When people come here and you kind of express who you are and what you say and what you do in your bio, you're going to get a ton more followers, all right? Um, what else did I put in the actual notes? Um, yeah, so I don't know regards, regarding how you are with your music, but again, I would pin a tweet here. You haven't pinned any tweet here at all, actually. So what I'd recommend, if you can, if you've got some clips of your music, I'd recommend pinning that to the top of your pinned tweet. Again, it auto plays in somebody's feed. And uh, again, if they, um, the, the, the it's going to be off, the, mu the uh, music's going to be off, the sound's going to be off. And if somebody wants to hear it, they can unmute it on their phone, all right? And then what you want to do, as soon as you've pinned that, Tracy, you retweet it at the busiest times, just like I told Icon uh, earlier, all right? So um, engagement, I think, is actually okay. Um, you don't tweet that much. Uh, I know I follow you on Instagram, and I think you're quite um, you're quite busy on Instagram. I don't think you're as busy, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if you're at, as busy as you are on Instagram, which is, you know, it's just how it is. It's not a problem. What I would also say, guys, um, let's put me back on front screen. What I'd also say is, and it's a podcast I did a few days ago, what I would recommend, and it's something I've actually started doing myself, so I'm not trying to teach you, I'm not trying to tell you to do something that I'm not looking to do myself. I would recommend that you be on as many social media platforms as you can, but focus 95% of your efforts on one of them, just one, right? We've all, we're all short of time. We all haven't got as much time as we would like. Um, you can't be everywhere at once. What I would recommend if you're on Instagram, if you're on Snapchat, if you're on Facebook, spend time on those platforms. But if you if Twitter is the one where you get the most engagement, you get a lot more following the example, for example, I would recommend spending 95% of your time on that and just focus on one. I'm not suggesting not to post another ones, but just your main focus needs to go on one platform. Otherwise, you're just going to spread yourself too thin and you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're not posting enough or tweeting enough, for example. All right. So I hope that helps anyway. So let's go back to the presentation or the analysis. So yeah, apart from that though, uh, Tracy, engagement is fantastic. Yeah, really, really good. And there's a lot of text tweets and you retweet me a lot, so I can't complain. Right, so next one who won is Thomas Palazzi. Uh, hopefully that's the right um, 
pronunciation. So header and profile are really good on him, Thomas. Really, really great. And guys, what I would say as well, just uh, interrupt myself. If you're interested, I've done the notes here. If you're interested in the notes, send me a DM or leave a comment in the uh, in if you're on YouTube, and I'll send you this because I've written all the notes here of all of the Twitter accounts. All right. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Anyway, moving on. I think the bio is good. The only thing I will say as well, mate, is the um, the profile picture is very, very similar to your header. So I, I'd probably look for more of a contrast in here. Whether you're, I don't know if you're too shy to put your profile picture on here, or if you want your, um, I'm assuming this is your logo, Thomas. If this is your logo, I'd probably change the header a little bit because it's clashing a little bit, I would say, all right? There's two Ps here. And again, it's not a big thing, it's not huge. It's just aesthetics, really, if I'm if I'm being really honest with you. Right. Um, again, you've, you're great. You've, you've done a pin tweet here, December the 4th. So, yeah, that, that's fine. That's okay. Again, what I'll do is, is uh, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it in quite a few of accounts. Do a pinned tweet here like these guys have done here. This is Star One that I'm interviewing on Saturday. And Josh, good friend of mine, again, interviewed him. Put, put a pin tweet here. People can watch a little of you, get a little bit of a feel of who you are before they start following you, right? This is These are the things that are going to allow people to follow you a lot more, all right? Doing all these small, little, tiny little things, all right? So let's go back to you. Thomas, what else did I write? I think your account was actually wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, yeah, I would like to see... I've got itchy eye here, guys. Sorry about this. I would like to see... Um, a lot more tweets that are more personable. From what I could see and what I saw before, what you do is you do a lot of retweeting, Thomas, um, which is a, is okay. And what I explained earlier on in the, in this video, retweeting is okay, but you need to have well, you need to be a lot more personable in your tweets. You need to do a lot more text tweets and come across a lot more personable. Um, I don't see that enough. I like how you retweet and you retweet a lot of your musicians and. Ah, Obviously, retweet me as well. That's not bad. I, I like that. But there needs to be like a nice little healthy mix of that because at the end of the day, if I'm looking to follow you as somebody that's interested in you and your music, that's kind of what I want to see. I want to see you come across on the platform. Tell me a little bit about you. Tell me about your music. Tell me if you're in the studio. Tell me if you're writing. Tell me if you um, one of your um, uh, instruments broke down um, and what you're going to do about it next time you're going in the studio. Tell me about you, Thomas. I want to know about you. This retweeting is fine, and I see a lot of you doing it, which is fine. But I've come here for you, Thomas. I come here to, you know, read what you have to say, listen to your music. And if I like enough of it, mate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button here and follow you. All right. So pin tweet, please. Um, you don't have to do every. You don't have to do it every time, but I would recommend doing it every time because, again, you, to get to actually grow your following, and this is what I have done. I swap out this pin tweet as many times as I can. If I was a musician, it would most likely be my music. All right, so that 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 be my advice to you. Um, but other than that, Thomas, I think you're doing a fantastic job. So brilliant. So I've only got a few more left. So the next person um, is Beck Dreams. Okay. I love the profile picture and I absolutely love the header. Absolutely phenomenal. I love that. And again, it, I can't say it enough, actually. I know there's a lot of people shy to put their profile picture on here. But just by looking at that profile picture, it speaks volumes to me. And I kind of get to know who, who Spec Dreams is. Not, not in detail, of course not. But I get to see what she's all about. Um, she's a music producer, singer, rapper, bloggers. Hit me up for needing more music. That's great. I love the bio. Got a link to your website fantastic you know what i feel about links to websites i absolutely love that um again we'll quick quickly quickly click on your website and have a look yeah this is good not bad um the only thing i would like to see you've got contact at the bottom here i would like to see in this first half of the page a link to your mailing list if you haven't got one and again if you're if you're um struggling and you struggle to build a main list again on my video the last one i did which was actually yeah it was three days ago sorry um i showed you how to build a one-page website and actually uh, collect names and emails i was using a piece of software called convert kit you don't need to build the one page if you just want to like um like you, you actually have your own website. You can actually use ConvertKit just to put a little form in there to collect names and email addresses. And it's, it's so important. Anyway, I'm not 
come here to look at your website or to evaluate it. I'm just saying it's brilliant that you've got a website link there because it's something that you own. No uh, social media channel can take this away from you. You own it. And when they get there, they know um, you can control what they do. The only thing I would say is put a form on there in the first half um, just so we know that if we are interested in more of your music or want to hear some more news about you, Spec Dreams, we can do. But other than that, the, the bio is perfect. I absolutely love that. Love the image. Love the header image there. Right, okay. Um, right, you probably guess what I'm going to say again on this one. Uh, October the 23rd is your pinned tweet. I recommend rotating this at least, at least once a month, if you don't mind. And again, um, you're, you said you're a producer. I'd like to see your latest track there as well, Spec Dreams, in an MP4 file that plays just like these guys. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to keep showing you City Lights. Um, got a nice MP4 there. I know exactly who they are. If I play it, I know exactly what I'm getting. If I like that music, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to hover over here and I click follow. It's as simple as that. I'm here for a few seconds. Boom, straight away, I'm going to follow. Same with Josh. I like what he's doing. I like what he's got to say. He's always offering good advice. I'm going to follow him. Star One, who I'm interviewing on Saturday. Nice little plug again. Uh, that video hopefully should be coming out next week. Um, again, nice little uh, MP4 there. And I presume, I presume that is their latest track as well. And what they've done as well, guys, if they change the header to... Um, Again, I'm assuming this is their latest track as well. So they're, they're doing all the things that I'm suggesting that you guys are doing. These guys are really successful. They're from the UK. I'm going to um, um, interview them on Saturday. These guys are very, very successful, and they do the vast majority of things right. If you're interested, look at the way they they've run their actual Twitter account. Um, again, with the actual header on here, you can see that they're using their, their latest track to promote that. Great. Profile picture, again, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And Spec Dreams, again, you're doing a, a fantastic job. You're doing something very similar. The only thing I would say is missing on here, Spec Dreams, is the MP4 video that auto plays. I can see you are, your latest track, brilliant. Also, what I'd like you to do as well, and I think I mentioned it previously, is definitely retweet your pin tweet, because that's the like your showcase tweet. And also, all the other tweets that you've got here as well, retweet these at the busiest times. The busiest times are normally first thing in the morning before people go to work. They're normally scrolling if they're on the bus or on the train. Um, at lunchtime, you know what you're doing at lunchtime. You're eating, you're scrolling, looking at Twitter. Um, that's a good time to retweet. And then I would say uh, probably early evening from, I don't know, between, I don't know, seven and nine, for example. Those are the good times to retweet as well, all right? But other than that, I'm I'm quite happy with what you're doing here. I think you're doing a really good job. You're doing a lot of retweets, a lot of text tweets, and a lot of engagement as well. Um, again, um, I mentioned about the Twitter list. If you don't have a Twitter list at the moment, um, uh, DM me, Spec Dreams, and I can show you how to actually build a Twitter list. That's a compiling a list of people that you regularly talk to. As soon as you click on that list, it gives you a nice little list of all what they've talked about, and you can engage with them very, 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 very quickly. All right, you're not having to scroll and look for them. They're in a nice little list, and you can find that here on the left hand side. All right, when you engage with people regularly, their followers and your followers will see your tweets a lot more. Uh, you'll get a lot more followers. Um, I can see that you've got 294 following and 164. You've been on here since December the 12th. I think you need to do a lot more following as well, Spec Dreams, all right? In order to grow your Twitter account, you have to do a lot of following, all right? Now, I'm going to, um, in inverted commas, I'm going to say be careful doing that. Follow um, a few people at a time, a few a few days at a time. Don't go completely and totally mad. I've been very, very aggressive on my account. I don't recommend going as, as aggressive as, as I was. But you've been on here for quite a while, and you've got 164 followers. So in order to actually boost that following, Spec Dreams, you need to follow more people. And what you can do, Spec Dreams, is you can go into your, your tweet. You can click on the, the, the likes and just see who's actually liked just see who's liked your tweets and just follow them. Simple. They've already said that they like what you've just written or you, they like what you've just posted and shown. So follow them. Just click into your tweets. Whoever likes any of your tweets, just go into them if you're trying to build. Uh, and you'll, you'll find that you'll build very, very quickly if you're following the people that are already engaging with you. All right? So I'm just going to quickly go back and see if there's any questions before I go to the next one. 
So we've got Cal. Uh, great advice there's for very new Twitter users. Is it best if they follow a lot of people to get started or is this considered spam? It's a hard question to answer, to be honest with you, Cal. It, all accounts are different. I would recommend definitely following people each day. Um, there isn't a, a there wasn't a, a perfect number, if I'm very honest. I follow a lot of people a day, a lot. And I've done that because I'm very aggressive in what I do. I don't recommend doing it the way I've done it personally. Um, but I would, I don't, I don't really want to give a number out, but I, I'd recommend following a few people a day just and just be consistent with it as well, all right? Um, but it's not considered spam if you follow a few people a day. Just don't go too crazy with it, all right? Um, at the end of the day, you're not trying to do what I'm doing. You're trying to get more exposure for your music. Even if you only get maybe 10 or 20 people a day that are interested in your music and they follow you, that's that's brilliant. I think that's that's great. Again, I'm not going to give a number. Um, each account's different, and my account is definitely different. So don't follow me exactly what I do. I follow a lot of people a day, and it's not something I would recommend. Just keep the number quite small, but just do it consistently every single day if you can, or each time you come onto Twitter. Right, so Cal, hopefully I answered your question. Uh, Tracy Lynn, okay, thank you. It was a quote that I liked. All right, brilliant. No worries. But like I said, if it's not part of your, your branding, um, Tracy Ann, then I would go for um, probably put it in a basic uh, text, but put in it in, in speech marks, inverted commas. Yeah, um, but that would be my advice. What else have we got here? Um, yes, I'd be interested in notes, please. Yeah, Matt, if you can just send me a DM, I'm not going to remember to send you it. So send me a DM, mate. I'm not going to remember it. Honestly, there's too many things going on. If you send me a DM, I'm more. Tell me what it is that you want, and I'll more than happy send you um, whatever document that I said I'll, I'll send you. Uh, the document again for these anyone that wants to know is the notes that I've taken down. If you're interested in that, let me know, and um, I'll send you that via DM. Or if you're on YouTube, I'll send it in the comments there. And then Don John Music One, I do all of that. Top man, appreciate it. That's, that's brilliant. Well done, mate. Uh, Icon Dark, consistency matters more than the amount per day. Absolutely. I, I, I couldn't have actually said it better. Um, be consistent in whatever you do. I'm on Twitter every single day. Since, if we quickly go back to my account, guys, I opened my account, or I started my account, scroll up, I started back in May 2020. And since May 2010, 2020, I've been on here every single day, engaging, following, engaging, following, every single day and that's what i'd recommend to you guys now look not everybody i don't have loads of time but and i don't know how much time you have but if you can if you can't be on here every day be on here at least every other day um when you when you leave it so long it's a lot harder to grow your following all right but if you're consistent and you engage with people grow your twitter list as well and again if you don't know how to do that send me a dm and i'll send you the video on that but if you want to grow your following you need to be consistent so icon dark very very good point so with that, I'm going to keep cracking on because um, there's a lot, there's a few more that I need to do before I go. So Spec Dreams, yeah, like I said, doing a fantastic job I'm, and I'm happy with your engagement. Really good. All I like to do is say is, all I would like to say is you need to be uh, following more people because you've been on since 2012. I'd like to see that a little larger. All right. So hopefully that helps. Right. Next person, Westside West Rizzy. What did I write? Just go back to my notes on Westside Rizzy. Okay, so header and profile are good. Um, profile, yeah, it's not too bad. I, I'd like to see a picture of you and your face, for example. Not necessarily. I mean, this might be part of your branding, so I'm not going to criticize it too much. But again, and it, and it will stand out if somebody's scrolling on the phone. But I would like to see a profile picture of you, if possible. I, I don't know what this uh, is. This an image of you, Westside Rizzy? If it is, that's great. But I'd like to see maybe uh, maybe an explanation of who you are and what you're doing. Um, Forever Legendary, Westside the Beat Side. Okay, that kind of explains it. Westside Story Mixtape coming soon. Yeah, that's fine. You've got a link to Apple Music. Okay, fine. Um, I'm quite happy with that. As long as there's a link going somewhere, guys, I really don't mind. Preferably, you know what I'm like. I like it to be linking to a, a platform that you own. 
<laughs> more, more importantly, your website. But if you haven't got a website and you want to link somewhere, then I'm quite cool if you want to link to Apple Music or Spotify. It's not a massive issue. As long as when somebody comes here and they start following you, they can actually see you, who you are, your music, um, and they know exactly who you are and what you're about. Uh, pin tweet here. This is from December the 29th, uh, 2019. Let's take a bit of a drink. Excuse me. December 2019 is too long. West Side Rizzy. It's too long. I don't mind if you upload it again. It's not a problem. If you want to use this, I don't know what it is. I haven't listened to it. But if you want to use this again, West Side Rizzy, that's totally fine. Uh, re-upload it or, or tweet it again and then pin it to your to your uh, to the top of your account but at the moment 2019 is too old and if I come here as soon as I come here I'm gonna assume that you're probably not even tweeting that much anymore so I would recommend if you want to use it again totally fine but just make sure it's, it's more recent um, I would recommend as well that you it looks like you tweet a lot but I don't your personality does come across but it's not offering me a lot of value as a follower all right it kind of feels like you're treating it like your own personal account and again i've had a lot of disagreements with a lot of musicians about treating things personally and treating things as a musician account i think you have to have a nice mix i'm not saying that you can't be personable i'm not saying that you can't um, have a laugh and have a bit of banter with your followers but at some point there needs to be some value that you're giving to me and at the moment when I look through these tweets, excuse me, as a, when I look through these tweets, I don't see a lot of value. All right. So that's probably one of the things I would say. Um, again, if you want to know how to talk to your fans, check out City Lights, have a look through their, their tweets, and they will show you exactly how they're speaking to their fans. All right. Um, it's one of the accounts, obviously, I've interviewed these guys before, but if you just look at, at, at their account, look at the way Luke tweets, you can see that when he tweets, he's tweeting from the heart and he's actually talking to his followers as well. Excuse me. Also, Josh, a good friend of mine, does exactly the same thing. When he's tweeting, he's tweeting a lot of value, and that's why on December the 9th, which is yesterday, he tells he, he offers a lot of value basically, and that's what you've got to try to do if you've got an account. No matter what account you got, whether you're in music or you're a producer, um, opera singer, it doesn't matter. You've got to give value on your account. And when I say value, you've got to speak to your, your Twitter audience to actually get more followers. All right. And as you can see, when you look at Josh's account, he has a lot of value, all right, a lot. And he speaks to his crowd, he knows whose crowds what they're all about. And the way he crafts his tweets is is for his crowd. So if you uh, if you want to go to Josh's account, have a look. I'd recommend that you do that just to give you an idea of how you need to speak to your potential followers. All right. So I think that's it. I think everything else other than that was actually pretty good. So Westside Rizzy, great. All right. So how many have we got left? We've got two more left, guys. Two more left, and then after that, I'm going to take some questions if there are any more questions. Um, what I will say here before I go on, if you're interested, I've got a YouTube channel. Um, I'd uh, really appreciate you. You come along, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Every time I upload, um, you get notified, and you'll be one of the first guys to see the video. If you're interested in learning more, I've got a private Facebook group as well. All the links are in the bio if you're interested. So I'd really like to see you. There's a, we've got 442 people here, and I'm, I'm sure there's somebody that you know, another musician or producer, that is actually in this forum as well. So you guys can chat as well. But guys, um, if you'd like to uh, join the actual Facebook group, the link's in the bio. Appreciate that. Right, let's get on. This isn't a promo fest for me. Right. Um, I don't think I've written a lot for you, mate. Your your profile is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the image. Um, that's great. And again, on mobile, I can see. Again, when I when I land on your account, I know exactly what I'm getting. And this is kind of what it needs to happen. It doesn't even need to have writing on here. The actual image here tells me exactly what I need to know about about uh, Fridama. Um, there's not much in the bio, but whatever there is in the bio, your bio, it explains exactly who you are and what you're about. You've got a Bandcamp link here, which is fantastic. You've got a Song Whip uh, link here, which is fantastic. Bio is perfect. I absolutely love it. So nothing more you need to do on that. 
Um, if I was looking to follow you, all I need to do is hear your music. And what have we got? We've got an MP4 file. Look at that. Um, if I play it now a little bit. Brilliant. So I know exactly what it's out. It's your latest track that's out now, December the 4th. You pinned it. The only recommendation I would give you is to retweet this, mate. Okay. So retweet it at the busiest times. The busiest time to retweet this to get more exposure, to get more followers is uh, first thing in the morning before people go to work, at lunchtime when they're having the meal, and in the evening after they finish the meal and they're going to be scrolling, sometimes during the meal. Um, but they're normally scrolling and. Um, yeah, that's what I'd recommend. So the fact that you've got a pin tweet on there is fantastic. Just retweet it a bit more to get more exposure. You've got a fair bit of engagement. You've got 23 likes and eight retweets. If you retweeted this often, you'd get that tweet a lot more exposure, mate. All right. So other than that, I don't think, oh, you're doing polls. That's the one, that's the one thing you use, uh, I put notes on. These polls here, guys, are really, really great. So if you want to do a poll, all you need to do is on, um, on Twitter, you just go into the tweet and you see these this graph here. All you need to do is click on here and you can do your own poll. So you ask a question, give people the answers, and then what happens is you can produce, let me just discard this, you can produce a poll like this. And what, what it is, Twitter loves when you do this. When you actually produce a poll, what you're doing is you're, you're um, encouraging your followers or potential followers to actually engage on Twitter. And you're also getting them to stay on the platform longer as well. That's why Twitter loves these polls. So I'd recommend, don't do too many of them, but just do a few. And it looks like uh, you've retweeted this as well, which is fantastic. Um, but guys, yeah, do a poll, think of a question, and you know, a cheeky question, um, and then just do a poll. I'd probably recommend doing one, one or two, or even three every week. Uh, and again, it just improves your engagement. If you improve your engagement, you get, you get more followers because more people see your tweets. Mate, other than that, I've got no criticisms on your account at all. There's a lot of engagement. I know exactly what I'm getting when I come here. And mate, the, the profile is brilliant. So if anybody's interested in looking at Fredama, look at his profile, um, take some notes because that is absolutely fantastic. With the pin tweet, it's almost a 99 out of 100, I'd say. It's it's brilliant. So enough engagement and the amount of following you got. Uh, been on since 2019. They're not too bad. Again, I would like to see more followers on here, Fredama. Um, again, just click into this, uh, your pin tweet. You can go into your likes. And all the guys that are like this, I would personally follow these guys, all right? Um, follow most of these guys because these guys, and what you can also do is put them into a, a separate Twitter list as well. Maybe call it people that liked my tweets, maybe. It's completely up to you what you want to name it. Again, if you don't know how to um, build a Twitter list, DM me and I'll send you the link to the video that I have in my forum if you want to actually see that, all right? But yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. All I need, all I would suggest is you do more following because I don't think you follow enough people. All right. I think we're getting on to the last one, guys. And then I've got some questions. If you've got questions, um, I'll answer as many as I can. So last account is Mucho Info. Mucho Info. Header and profile are fantastic. Absolutely love this. I love the, uh, I'm assuming that's your logo. Absolutely love that, a lot of color. When I'm scrolling, if I've followed you or uh, I've engaged with you before and I see this profile image again, I'm going to remember who you guys are, trust me. That that works really well. Love the head image. It gives me uh, uh, an example of what you guys are, who you're about. You're smiling or some of you are smiling. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, the bio is good. Not massive fan of uh, email addresses in bios. It's more... I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but it's more more of a personal thing for me, really. I don't think we talk about conversions in in um, in marketing. I don't think a lot of people email people from a bio, and I might be wrong. I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't think it works. I'd much prefer to see a link here going to a landing page where you can collect names and email addresses, as well as the um, as well as the uh, website link that you have here. Been, in, been on here since July 2019, and you've got 700 followers. That's that's good. Um, I'd recommend following more people as well, guys. <coughs> and again, like I recommended to uh, Fredama, click on your, your tweets and go click on the likes and just see who you follow, all right, who you follow there. 
Um, if you don't follow them and they've liked your tweet, these guys are likely to like your music. They already liked one of your tweets, so there's a good, there's a good chance that they're going to like your music. So just follow these guys. Um, that would be my recommendation. Bio is good. Link to website, that's good. And maybe look to increase following. I've talked about that, MP4. Guys, I think that's it. I think I'm quite happy with your engagement. You're doing fine. There's a lot of text tweets here. Brilliant. The only thing I'd recommend, it's the last thing I'm going to say, and then we're going to go to the questions, guys, and I'm going to take a bit, another sip of my drink. The only thing I would say is I'd like to see more retweets, all right? You're going to get a lot more exposure on your tweets if you retweet them, all right? And retweet them at the busiest times. First thing in the morning before people go to work, at lunchtime when people are scrolling and eating their meal, and then in the evening after they finish their evening meal. These are the these are the most busiest times. And I got a question the other day when I did one of these live streams, and people were asking me, um, what happens if uh, my music is going all around the world? What you need to do then, guys, is you need to curate your tweets to go out at different times. Now, if say, for example, if I was a musician and... Um, I wanted my tweets to show in US time. I would use something called TweetDeck, which is T W W E T D E C K, TweetDeck, which is Twitter's own scheduling platform. I would use something like that and schedule my tweets to go out when I know, like, like early in the morning um, is still even in the US but for us in the UK. So I would schedule my tweets to go out later on. All right. And again, that just gets you more exposure, more exposure gets you more followers. All right. The same things that I'm telling you now that work in 2020 will definitely work in 2021. All right, guys. So hope you hopefully you've got some uh, some value out of this. Um, I'm going to do this again. Just quickly show you my Twitter account. I'm on 15,400 at the moment. I will do this again um, when I reach 16,000. And when I when I reach 16,000, I will. Do another tweet like this where I say, when I reach 16,000, I'll be celebrating my milestone by giving away a free analysis to 10 accounts, all right? Um, so that's what I did this time round, and I'll be doing it every milestone, basically. Every every extra thousand followers I get, I'll do it. So it's probably, from looks of it, it's going to happen in a few weeks' time. So when I reach 16, I will do this again if anybody's interested in doing that. So guys, um, that's the analysis done. If you're interested, I've done all the notes to this as well. Um, I've done it in PDF form. So if you're interested in reading these notes, you can do. I'll uh, DM DM you if you want, or DM me to ask me what you want, and I'll let you know. Um, I'll, I'll I'll send the link to this PDF, and then you obviously you can have that as well, guys. All right. So uh, with that, I think that's the end of the analysis. So I'm going to see if there's any questions at all in this live stream. I'm just going to leave this up. <clears throat> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. what am i doing what am i doing guys again if you're interested um uh, if you don't mind i've like i said i've got my youtube channel it's grown quite nicely and there's a lot of content i upload there every week my last interview was with um darren guadotto um, he's got a new streaming platform called Music Cast. I'd really, really think that you should get on that and uh, get on that as soon as possible. It's going to get really busy on there, and at some point, he's going to start charging. So I recommend you get on that. But guys, I would really love it if you um, subscribed, hit the bell notification each time I do a video like this. You'll get to see it. You'll be the first ones to know. So with that, just uh, go back to my dashboard. I'm going to take some questions if I can. Take a swig of my drink. So is there any more questions at all? So Cal's asking, opinion on artists who want to remain anonymous, so just mark themselves as the brand, would this work on Twitter? Yeah, it does work, mate. Um, there's loads of um, musicians, producers that want to re remain anonymous, and that's totally fine. You can have a logo up there. You can have a picture up there. It's totally fine. The important thing is, is you engage. When I first started my Twitter account, um, the first thing I did is I had my logo up there and I was still getting following, but it wasn't until I put my profile picture on there that I started getting loads of engagement. So maybe that's something that you want to do as well. If you want to remain anonymous, it's, it's not an issue. You won't get as many followers as a picture because people like following people, but depending on how you engage, it's not a big issue. It's not a problem at all. All right. 
So, what else can we see? Uh, Icon Dark, can you schedule retweets on TweetDeck? It doesn't look like you can. No, you can't, mate. You can't. Um, the reason why you can't is Twitter want um, they want a lot of conversation on their platforms. All right, they don't mind retweets. Obviously, that's why they've got the function, but they certainly don't want you scheduling them. They want um, up to date content on their platform. Hence, the reason why they don't want you to uh, to retweet uh, or schedule the retweet, shall I say? So yeah, that's it basically. I don't know if there's anything more, um, but I think that's it. So guys, is there any more questions at all, or any more comments even? Any more comments at all, guys? Just quickly go back to my account. Any more questions at all? So hopefully I should hit 16,000 in a few weeks time. I don't know, might, might be in a week or so actually. Um, but yeah, I, I engage every day. I come on here. I spend a lot of my time, if I'm being honest, I spend a lot of my time in the notifications. I get a lot of engagement on my tweets. So I don't, necessarily have a lot of time to go into my home feed unfortunately i do i do go into my home feed but i'm just i'm normally in my notifications because i get so many so much engagement and believe it or not i can't get round to everybody i really i just i really can't um so i just engage as much as i can when i can um so yeah that's the, that's where i spend the most of my time is in here um, I generally look to see if I'm following. I normally hover over just to see if I'm following. And as you can see in the gray there, actually, sorry, you probably can't see. Sorry, guys. Um, I normally um, hover over um, the person's name or their profile just to see if they're following me. So that's what I do. And I scroll down and I literally just like and engage with the guys that follow me. And I do this on a daily basis. And guys, this is the reason why I was saying... Um, this is why I was saying that you need to come onto Twitter every single day because these guys want to engage with you. If they start following you and they like your music, if you come on Twitter today, but you don't come on for like another week, they're probably going to lose interest. And they're, they're probably even going to forget that what they're going to forget that they followed you and they're going to forget why they followed you. So it's really good to follow these people, engage with them as soon as you can. Obviously I've got, 15,000 followers. I can't engage with those 15,000 followers, but what I can do is I can engage with the guys that engage with me, and I, I can also set up what we call a Twitter list. And a Twitter list is basically just a, a collection of people that I've put into a list that I know I can get engaged with each day. I won't lie to you, it's normally the people in my forum, uh, and normally the people engage with me a lot that go into a list, and I engage with them every single day. Simple as that, really. So are there any more questions? It's um, fast approaching 20 past nine here in the UK. There's a few things I need to do, so I'm going to sign off in a minute. Are there any more questions? Right, Matt, I'm mainly a cover musician. My aim is to reach local folks to come out to shows once that comes back someday. Do you think Twitter is a good platform for this? I do. I think it's brilliant. Um, you need to speak to Peter and Ella, actually, Matt. Um, Peter and Ella, I'll just see if we can find the details. Um, let me see if I can find them. Right, these guys here, they're in my forum. We, they, we engage a lot. Twitter is good. They use Twitter, but they get a lot of um, good feedback on Facebook as well. Um, now, I'm not here talking about Facebook, but they use Twitter and Facebook together. And they do really well locally, uh, more so probably than Twitter with Facebook. So I really recommend speaking to these guys, following them if you can. They're a great set of guys, uh, great music. Um, they engage with me virtually every single day. Uh, and again, I know for a fact they use Facebook a lot for local stuff. So Twitter is good for that as well. Um, there's nothing wrong. It's just what you need to do is you need to find people within your area. It's a lot harder to do on Twitter. What you could do, though, mate, is when you're tweeting, um, I believe, let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, I think it's on TweetDeck, actually. 
on TweetDeck, you can actually put a location there as well. What I'd also as well recommend, Matt, and I don't know if this is going to help, is actually, you know where they've put, actually, let's go to your account, Matt. Hold on. Into your account, wasn't it? Okay, so Matt, what I would do is you've put Massachusetts. You probably could be even put even more detail there as well. Actually, that's actually okay. Obviously, Massachusetts is a huge place, but maybe you can be a bit more specific on your location. And what that's going to do automatically is, I mean, I've got a mine Peterborough, for example, on my on my Twitter account. I've got Peterborough on there. Um, that's where I am. Um, so automatically there's going to be a lot of people from Peterborough following me. So you can basically do that. Just make this a bit more specific on your location and you'll get more followers. But I think it's going to be very, very difficult for you to find local people unless they're using a hashtag maybe. So maybe hashtag Massachusetts. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I would say Facebook and speak to Peter and Ella. They're, they're really hot on Facebook um, regarding their music. Um <clears throat> I must admit, I use Facebook more of, a, of a, an advertising platform rather than an organic posting platform. I do post on Facebook, but it is literally just posting. I don't do much more on there. But those guys, whenever they post something, they get so much engagement from their local fans, it's unbelievable. So I would recommend that. Speak to them, guys. Hopefully that's answered your question. Right. Is there any more... Okay, yeah, so, also, so yeah, Facebook is my main platform. We'll love a review of that, <laughs> okay? Uh, mate, when ne next time I'm doing a review on Facebook, I'll let you know. Uh, I don't do many reviews on Facebook, if I'm re being really, really honest with you. Um, I, like I said, I use it more as an advertising platform, that and Instagram. Um, it's something I'm going to talk about later on in other episodes. I'm, it's, I'm not going to talk about it now because obviously we're talking about Twitter. But Instagram and Facebook are, are fantastic advertising platforms if you want to get your music out there. Um, more so for what we call remarketing. Um, again, I'm not going to go to touch too much into that because that is not what we're talking about today. But yeah, Facebook is great. All the people that come to Facebook, you can basically advertise to the people that have already been on your Facebook page or landed on your Facebook page. So it's absolutely fantastic as an advertising platform. It just means you need to upload regularly there your content. And I'm assuming, I haven't seen your account, but I'm assuming that is what you're doing. You're uploading regularly, all right? So hopefully, mate, that's answered your question. I'm, uh, if I'm going to be really honest, I'm not going to do many Facebook analysis because I'm not on Facebook that much other than in my Facebook group. So um, yeah, um, hopefully that answers your question. Cal, are are the people selling Twitter followers scammers? Um, uh, what what I would say is I don't want to say too much on that side of things. What I would say is I wouldn't recommend buying followers. That's that's a big no no, and I wouldn't recommend using any sort of service where they say they're going to get you followers. Whether they're scammers or not, I'm not going to say, um, and it's not for me for me to say because I don't know them. Um, but I would recommend not buying followers. Do it organically, mate. I started back in May 2020. I've built it to 15,000. I'm not suggesting that you do it like I've done it. I've been quite aggressive on, on, on my... Um, actually, let's go back to my Twitter account. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not suggesting that you um, be as aggressive as I was. But one thing I do recommend is... Um, so I'm just going to change the branding. What I do recommend is... Growing it organically. Um, don't buy followers. That's a big no-no. What happens is, if you buy followers, and I'll just show you how it happens. When you buy followers, when you get a lot of followers all at once, that already triggers um, a problem with the algorithm because it looks like you've bought followers. Yeah? Simple. Um, another thing as well is those followers... And in, in a million years, I'm never going to engage with you. So what what Twitter what the Twitter algorithm is doing is looking at who you followed and how many of those followers are you actually engaging once you followed them. It looks at all of that, all of those, um, all of those st statistics. And if you take on like a thousand followers at any one time and you never engage with them and they never engage with you, they're going to know what, exactly what you've done and you've actually purchased followers. I don't know exactly what they would do, but I'm assuming that they just won't show your tweets to as many as your real as you, your real followers. I'm assuming that's what they would do. I don't know for sure, but that's kind of putting two and two together. I think that's what would happen. 
hope that answers your question uh, there, Cal. And then Matt is saying, thank you. Yeah, Matt, no problem at all. Um, I appreciate it. So, guys, is there any more questions? I'm happy. Um, what's the time now? It's 9.24. I'll be on here for another six minutes. I'll stay on to 9.30 UK time. Is there more questions? I'm happy to answer them. If you um, don't want to ask a question in the comments, send me a DM. I can't always promise to get to it straight away. Um, I'm quite busy, but I will do my best to get to you as soon as possible. Again, I, anyone that's just joined, I did an analysis on Twitter on, on people's Twitter accounts. I went through their bios, went through the, how they tweet, and I just gave them um, some advice. If you're interested, I did a PDF of it of the notes. I will send that to, in the DM if that's something of interest to you. But just when you write a DM, don't just say, "Can you send me this, please." Tell me exactly what you want me to send you because I send out a lot of stuff in my DMs and I can't remember specifically what you were talking about in the comments, for example. Um, so just tell me exactly what it is that you wanted in the DMs and I will send it to you. So if you're interested in the Twitter list, if, you, if you're interested in launching your music and you want a checklist, if you want the notes from today, I'm more than happy to send you the PDFs of them. It's not a problem. I'm here to help, guys. Not a problem. Right, guys, is there anything else? Uh, 9.25, okay, so I'll be on here for another five minutes. Cal saying, cheers, there's mate, another quality stream. Will there will there be another follow-up to the email marketing video? Yeah, so on Sunday, um, buh, 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 let's go to my YouTube. Uh, actually, it's not there. Hmm. Okay, anyway, on Sunday, <laughs> I'm not organized today. On Sunday, I've got another live stream just like this one where I basically give you part two of what I gave you on Sunday. So on Sunday, I taught you how to set up a landing page and then set up a email, an email campaign for that to collect names and email addresses of your fans. And on Sunday, um, this Sunday coming, I'm going to go a little bit further in how you can actually use automation in order to actually build a relationship with your fans. And again, from what I can see, I, I, I say less than 1% of musicians are actually doing what I'm gonna suggest on Sunday. So if this is something of in that interests you, I, I really think you need to get on it. And come to the live stream, it's gonna be great. All right, Matt, another question. Great. What's the question, mate? Um, quick last question. What are you using to be able to broadcast on YouTube? Can you send me a DM, Matt? Because I don't really want to talk about that now on this, but send me a DM and I'll send you the link for that. No problem. Um, so, yeah. Again, like I said, let's go for my notifications. Um, sometimes as well, I'll jump into somebody's um, account, have a read, and I'll engage with them like that as well. Um Again, if you're, say for example, you wanted to start following people, <clears throat> excuse me, this one here I've written, if your partner pushes and supports you, you've got it made. So what I would do, my, my general practice each day is to jump into that tweet, click on either on retweets, which shows me who's retweeted it. These guys uh, are basically retweeted it to their followers. So these guys are really good guys to follow. I would follow those if they're musicians personally and go into the likes and follow these people as well all right and that's how you build your following these guys have basically held their hands up and said des i like what you tweeted there i'm gonna like it these guys here have retweeted it so it's even more powerful uh they're saying not only do i like it i'm gonna show it to more of your followers as well all right so i would recommend following those people and just go through your tweets each day and just go through them all these people that follow you, follow them back. But like I said, just go easy with it. Don't go too mad. Um, at the end of the day, um, you just want to grow your, your following, you know, slowly, but more targeted to the people that are actually engaged with you. All right. So any more questions? And there's two more minutes and then I'm signing off. Oh, if anybody's interested in the replay, this is going to be up on YouTube. It's going to be up on Periscope, and it's also going to be up on my Facebook page as well. So, if you're if you're um, you've caught this midstream and you want to um, watch it again, it is going to be on the replay, especially on YouTube. Any more questions, guys? And I'm going to sign off again. If you don't want to write a question in the YouTube or Facebook or on Periscope, then 
send me a DM and I'm quite happy to answer it. I'm not going to answer it tonight because after this live stream, I'm signing off. Um, but uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, just put them in the DMs and I'll be happy to answer them tomorrow. Any more questions, guys? Cool. All right. So again, I'm just going to go back to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you haven't done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I upload at least once a week and it's always content to help you as a musician. All right. So I would appreciate you, appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the bell notification there. I have a private Facebook group. These links are in my bio. If you want to join my Facebook group, we've got 442 members there. I'm sure there's going to be somebody that you know, so we can sit and have a chat. I also post content in there. Stuff, the content I post in there is not always the stuff I post online. It's, um, but I've got a few courses in there, a few extra details in there that I don't normally uh, show online. So if you want to join, it's completely free to join. Just have to answer three questions. As long as you answer those three questions in the right way, um, you can join my forum. Not a problem at all. But main one is YouTube. I'm trying to post more content on there, trying to get build more of a community on YouTube. And it'd be really get, great if I can get more subscribers on there because it, it, the more subscribers, it means that, I, that my channel meets more musicians or, or finds more musicians. Um, and it allows me to help a lot more people. So guys, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. So if there isn't any more questions, guys, my name's Des from the uh, the Music Marketing Academy. I'm going to do more like this when I hit, reach 16,000 followers, which will be in a couple of weeks. Um, I'll do another analysis, another 10 accounts. So if you're interested, follow my tweets, and I'm going to do another 10 accounts. So keep your eyes peeled. So my name's Des from the Music Marketing Academy. If you're looking to market either you, your band, or your brand in this fast-growing music industry, then the Music Academy is for you. Cheers, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you. Well, you can chat with tomorrow on, on Twitter if you like. But, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.